cooler here and this morning I was out and about even uh, Bill the humidity feels like it's down yeah. a bit so it's pretty comfortable. Yeah that cold front. Speaking. Yeah that cold front that came through last night really scoured out some of that humidity especially overnight. It returned a little bit today but not nearly as muggy as the past couple of days. Beautiful evening taking shape. We've got a uh, clear to partly cloudy sky. 89 was the high so that is only three degrees above average. Record high is 103. Another mild morning low though 73 that is eight degrees above the average low of 65. No rainfall. Sunsets this evening at 841. 88 degrees out at the airport, 87 downtown here at the station. Again, dew point numbers about 10 degrees lower than this time yesterday. So uh, the uh, feels like temperature matches the air temperature because the air is pretty dry. A uh, nice little breeze as well from the west northwest at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And the Mississippi is falling 5.42 feet. It's so pretty low. Uh, temperatures in the 80s locally, still some heat from uh, Pierce, South Dakota, down through uh, the central plains and especially into the south central plains. Still some triple digits down there. Uh, 88 degrees in the cross 86 in Eau Claire also 86 in Winona and 82 in Viroqua. Again, notice these dew points. We've got some 50s over southeastern Minnesota, low to mid 60s elsewhere, a couple of higher spots in Viroqua at 67, but most of us in that comfortable to a slightly sticky range, uh, range I should say. And over the next uh, 12 hours, uh, notice those dew points in the upper 50s to lower 60s. So dare I say, maybe have the windows open tonight. It's not going to be overly muggy, so uh, maybe a refreshing night to do that. Uh, northwest winds 10 to 20, gusting close to 30 plus miles per hour in spots. Now, these winds will die down as we head through the next several hours. And again, those isolated showers I was talking about yesterday, uh, primarily staying to our north and east. Most of us stay dry today as that area of low pressure moves out. Otherwise, not much upstream in the short term, except uh, lots of clear skies. So plenty of sunshine in store for tomorrow. Clear to partly cloudy tonight. A little disturbance might zip by to our south and west uh, late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Should miss our area. And then again, lots of sunshine tomorrow. A few clouds roll in for Friday, uh, Thursday night into Friday, along with a slight chance for some uh, hit and miss showers and thunderstorms. Right now, the aerial coverage doesn't look to be uh, overly strong. Now, temperatures tomorrow, mid to upper 80s, right around 89 degrees here in the cross. Might flirt with 90 out at the airport. Uh, mid to upper 80s will be common down to our south as well. And more of the same as we head back to the north. 85 in Black River Falls, Blair and Whitehall, Eau Claire in the Chippewa Valley. You'll be right around 84 or 85 degrees. So for tonight, clear to partly cloudy. We'll call it seasonably mild. Again, not overly muggy. Uh, lows around 68 degrees. Those winds will really come down into the 5 to 10 mile per hour range later tonight. 89 tomorrow, mostly sunny and warm, uh, but not overly humid. Uh, similar to today, northwesterly wind at about 5 to 15, maybe some gusts of 20 miles per hour, especially in the open areas west of the river. Uh, looking ahead, that slight chance of storms on Friday, 87. Better chance, unfortunately, to start the weekend. Uh, chance of scattered storms on Saturday. You might have to keep an eye on the potential for some stronger storms Saturday. So uh, we'll keep you abreast and uh, have an alert day if uh, things look a little bit more promising for the chance of severe weather. Otherwise, Sunday and Monday still looking dry. Slight chances of rain next Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday looking dry as well. But as I mentioned yesterday, fairly pleasant later July temperatures Sunday through much of next week with those highs in the low to mid 80s overnight lows in the low to mid 60s. Alright, looks good, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm I guess though every time we get that heavy rain bill and, and you know too, we talk about the quick flooding that we get. So yeah. I always keep an eye on that, especially for folks that are in those neighborhoods. Yeah, Mother Nature just needs to uh, learn to kind of spread the wealth from time to yeah. time. And it's kind of getting dry across the region, so we could use a little bit of rain. We just don't want those heavy downpours. All right, All right thanks, Bill. Okay.